Alright, what's up everyone? I've got Emmy here to help me with the video and uh, Emmy, yeah, she's gonna help me with the Bebop 2 while I do the camera work and the, the Mavic for some b-roll footage. Um, okay. This battery was charged three weeks ago, fully charged and left, not done anything. So this is the first time we're going to use it and we'll see if we can, um, if the drone falls out of the sky as per what people were saying. All right, Emmy. So she's not going to press the land and we'll see if it automatically lands by itself. It's at 1% now and there we go, it auto landed by itself. Alright, so we're back inside now and I did mention that I was going to speak, talk about the reason why I don't use uh, balanced charges. It, it's really uh, not important for me, but I know a lot of other more experienced um, RC pilots out there, they would um, suggest to use balanced charges and that's fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with using balanced charges. It's an added uh, safety for your batteries and for yourself. But for me, the reason that I don't um, use a balanced charger is because uh, Paris chargers uh, do enough and also there's a little circuit board um, inside your batteries that do the balancing um, when you plug it to the charger. So for this reason I don't have an immediate need for a balanced charger but if I was doing a lot more RC flying and with various different crafts I probably would invest in a in a balanced charger but for me for an everyday use or just you know sort of pick up and go kind of use I really wouldn't um, want an added accessory but if you can um, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with other drone pilots and I respect the experience with it if you if that's your thing um, get it if it's not um, an added uh, inconvenience I would say for for me or for very simple people that just want to charge the batteries and fly the drone so from um, today's little experiment with did with the battery uh, charging it and leaving it full for just over three weeks. Um, I looked at my flight logs and the last time I flew was on the 7th of January and it's um, the 10th, I think it's the 10th today of February so just I think it's a month since I fully charged the battery, left it and then just picked it up and and went outside and flew. I think the the takeoff percentage was 85% and we didn't know what was going to happen because I've never really done that before. I've always tried to be careful and discharge and charge my batteries the night before um, going out and doing a long flight. But having said that, we did do it and um, it didn't fall out of the sky which um, was said to happen if you do that. It did what it said it was supposed to do, which isn't uh, falling out of the sky. But no, I do not use any other applications to fly the drone. I only ever use Free Flight Pro. So I hope this video has helped in some way. Uh, give you a bit of insight to um, your batteries. If you charge them and forget them and then want to go and use them, it should not fall out of the sky in normal circumstances using F Free Flight Pro. And uh, the reason for that is Free Flight Pro um, has done mul multiple updates to um, to better their battery management and the critical threshold where it um, 
there's an automatic landing of your drone wherever it is uh, to avoid it falling out of the sky. So I think that's really good on Pirate's part um, to keeping the updates coming and keeping the drone as safe as possible. Okay, so if you have any comments or any um, arguments, please write them in the comment section and uh, we can discuss. Um, this this isn't you should only do. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do. There's a lot of ways in which you can uh, safeguard your batteries. I've also put a link to uh, uh, Mr. Kent.com. Um, he talks about the chemical compositions in the LiPo batteries. So if you want to know more about the LiPo batteries, you can jump over to his video explaining what LiPo batteries and the chemical um, architecture of it is. So I put the link in the comment section. Ciao.